Okay, so this one is combinations. So a combination is a selection of objects where the order does not matter, okay? So basically it's just a grouping. So the example here is form a group of three students from A, B, C, and D. So you've got four people to choose from. The only combinations are A, B, C, A, B, D, A, C, D, and B, C, D. Note that A, B, C is the same as A, C, B. So the only thing that's switching is the order of what you're putting it, right? But it's still the same grouping as B, C, A, right? You still have the same three people in all of these cases. These permutations, they're all the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of them when we're looking at a combination. So if we have n distinct items and r items are taken but not arranged, then the number of combinations is, and we read this as ncr, okay? So we're choosing a group out of, we're, we're choosing a group of a certain number of people or items from a larger set. So we're basically taking the repeats out of the permutation, all right? So remember how NPR was N factorial over N minus R factorial? And now the combination here, we're dividing out the R factorial as well to get rid of the repeats. Okay, now you can also see this notation here. So NCR can also be written as a bracket with the N written above the R. So it depends on what piece of text you're reading. It could, it, it means the same thing. So you could see it in two different ways here. So the example that we have here is we have 14 females and we have eight males in a math class and what we want to do is we want to want to form a group of five. Now it doesn't matter how we're arranging these people, it just matters that how many different groups can we make. So a good thing to note here is the total number of people that we have is 14 plus uh, eight, okay? So that equals 22 students. And we want to note how many groups can be formed. So we want to choose five people from a larger group of 22, okay? And the way we write this is 22 choose five. And if we write it in this notation here, that's 22 factorial over 22 minus 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial. So that's the same as 22 factorial over 17 factorial times 5 factorial. So make sure this is all in the denominator being divided out. Now, some calculators are going to have a uh, like a probability section here. So notice in, in this one here, it's in, in spot three. So I need to put my 22 in here, get that function back up, and then I type the five in after, and I get that as my answer, 26,334. All right, so that's much simpler than figuring out each piece and, and doing it that way. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, how many groups can be formed with two females and three males? Well, how many, I, I have to split this up into two pieces, right? Yeah, so I've got my cases. And what we're going to do is so basically this here is going to be 14 and I'm choosing two from the 14 females. This and is a multiply and then this three males here, I'm choosing three from a group of eight. 
So your solution is going to look like this. 14C2 times 8C3. And like brackets like that? You can, sure, yeah. And then we've got 91 for the first part, 56 for the second one, and that equals 5,096 as our total number of groups that can be formed. Okay, so if I pull that same function up, 9 choose, oh sorry, not 9, 14, Fourteen choose two, that gives you ninety-one, and then the eight choose three gives me fifty-six. That's the the combination. That's the function that we're using. Okay. Some of you might actually have a button on your calculator. Yeah. Okay. Now, how many groups can be made with Joseph? So now here are all of my cases, right? So the group has to have Joseph in it. So there's only one way to choose Joseph from the group of Joseph. So you have to have Joseph, okay? And now one other male, how many males are left? There's eight males left to choose from. Sorry, I started with eight. So if I've already got Joseph, then there's seven left, right? And so I have to choose one other male. And then three females. So how many ways can I choose three females? Well, I'm choosing from a group of 14. Okay, so then that gives me, uh, this is one times, and then 7, and then times 14 choose 3 is 364. Multiply all those together, and we get 2,548. Okay. Okay, so now this next one is a your turn. So here we're going to look at a store manager hiring someone. How many different ways can this happen? Well, three identical positions. So it doesn't matter who's in what position, right? It just, it just matters that we're choosing Choose three from group of 12. So this is going to be 12 choose three. And if I want to write it like I can, I can go 12 factorial over 9 factorial and 3 factorial because 12 minus 3 is 9. That's how I get this 9. Uh, let's, let's work this out without any calculators. Let's do this by hand. Break up the 12 factorial, so it's 12, 11, 10, and then 9 factorial. And then I've got my 9 factorial and 3 factorial here. This 9 factorial cancels that out. Now what is the value of 3 factorial? That's 3 times 2 times 1, right? So what is the value of that? 3 times 2 is 6. So this really is 6. Can I cancel, some, can I cancel a 6 out from the numerator? I've got a 12 here, so I can reduce that 6 out, and then I'm left with a 2 in the numerator. So I've got 2 times 11 times 10, and that gives me a total of 220. So that's how you'd work that out without a calculator. All right, now, have a look at the next question. The chess club has 9 grade 10s, 5 grade 11s, and 14 grade 12s. Okay, 
So let's grade nine, grade tens, grade nines. How many, what grades do I have? Grade tens, grade tens, grade elevens, and grade twelves. All right. Now, I have a total of nine grade tens. I have a total of five grade elevens and a total of 14 grade 12s. Now I need to select a group that has two from every grade. So I'm gonna choose two from the grade 10s, two from the 11s, and two from the 12s. All right, so now I've got all these that I need to multiply together. So nine choose two is 36. Five choose two is 10, and then 14 choose 2 is 91. All right, now I'm going to multiply all these together. And that is going to give me 32,760. All right, so that is combination. So next we're going to do combinations with cases.